It really doesn't quite feel like fall yet. But it will by the weekend because Ken says we're going to highs in the 50s. So we have our friend Karen bachman Tool. She's the director of marketing for Bachman's here to share some fall decor ideas because the Halloween inflatables are up and people are decorating their porches and we need to get into the fall mode even if it feels hot outside. That's exactly <laughs> right. It has been an unusually warm fall and um, the harvest hues are out. Um, it's time to cozy up to a new season. So a little shift in the weather is going to give us that feeling of sort of nesting indoors. And so there's so many beautiful ways to do that. Is there a particular color that's like the thing this y year, this yeah, fall? Yeah, so, um, you know, the traditional harvest hues such such as orange and yellow are will always be in season but there's new neutrals and so if we kind of look over in this direction here it's a little bit of a softer palette and also incorporating a lot of sage green um, and you'll see a lot of creams so there's some new neutrals in there incorporating terracotta and this is just a beautiful way to show how you can layer up and add some pieces that um, you may not have thought about um, you know around the candles we have tree wrap and some moss twine so it's those little details yeah. that you feel like you um, can own and add character to your table or, or to your decor. And I even feel like this candle in the pot on the stand like you might have these in different areas of your home that you can incorporate and that looks lovely on exactly. a table. Exactly and that's what our designers love to do in all of our stores we have beautiful displays and vignettes that maybe think give you ideas to think about things just yeah. a little bit differently and it's it's not about always adding a whole brand new table, but elements that will make it feel refreshed to you. I love it. All right, mums. I, I think everyone thinks mums flower-wise for, for this season, but you brought some other really beautiful yeah. options too. Yeah, so our Thanksgiving collection is out. And so, you know, when we think about the Thanksgiving table or gathering tables, um, it's nice to do long and low so you can look over and have a, convers food. a conversation. Um, and so these are some examples that we have here. Um, this is actually the arrangement that I use on my table, but I add taper candles to it just to give it oh, a, yeah, little a little flame classy. to it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, and then we have beautiful selections here and they're using the season's best. So you'll find, you know, the um, harvest hues, the oranges and the yellows um, and all of those seasonal elements such as leaves and things like that. So. Is there any uh, particular advice you have on for the moms? Yeah. I feel like everyone has the best intentions with the moms and trying to keep them going as long as they can this time of year. But. Yeah, well, it has been unusually warm yeah, and yeah. very dry. And so the biggest thing that we see people is struggling with water because our plants and lawn need about an inch of water per week. And anything newly planted needs more than that. But when you're buying garden mums, so these are garden mums, uh -huh. um, I always like to give the advice of buy, out the, buy them tight. This is beautiful and people want instant gratification, but yeah. if you buy them tight, they're going to bloom over several weeks oh, versus sure. being yeah. bloom yep. and then spent. Oh, you mean not opened yet. Correct. Yeah. So tight. Yep. Oh, I gotcha. So, so the bud is still tight. So um, this will still bloom for several weeks um, and the weather is favorable. Our you know fall annuals can take temperatures that dip down mm -hmm. um, to frost level. Um, they actually thrive in that. So. Here we have ornamental peppers, ornamental kale, Those grasses. Are peppers? They are. Oh, really? Yes. So They're aren't so they pretty. darling? Yeah. yeah. Well, and I noticed these red guys down here too. These exactly. are really beautiful. And the kale. I always love the look of the kale, but I'm intimidated as far as like how to use it. Oh gosh, don't be intim no. intimidated at all. Don't eat it. It's ornamental, um, but you can add it to containers, and you can see in here, it's just so beautiful. Um, you know, a lot of our containers still look nice from summer, yeah. but these will transition into the end of October into November quite nicely. Yeah. Oh. I'm doing kale this year. Yeah. I'm doing it because I love the purple. <laughs> it's such a fun it, pop this time it? of year and yes. I love purple for fall. Exactly, exactly. So there's lots of options to influence both indoors and out. Um, you don't need to make a huge change. It's just those little pieces yeah. that um, can give you sort of that seasonal inspiration. This is the inspiration for the Thanksgiving table this year, everyone. Karen, thanks so much. Good to see you. Thank you. Uh, we'll post a link for you to Bachman's on MinnesotaLive.com.